Days ahead of the February 24th anniversary of Russia's Ukraine invasion, India has now reiterated its stance on the war. India has said that it is time for dialogue and diplomacy. As finance officials from the group of 20 started a four-day meeting near the southern city of Bengaluru. Finance ministers and central bank chiefs from G20 nations will join the meeting on Friday. Today's era is not of war. Democracy, diplomacy and dialogue is the way forward. Meeting near India's tech capital Bengaluru is the first major event of India's G20 presidency. The war in Ukraine is likely to feature prominently during the proceedings. India has kept a neutral stance on the war, declining to blame Russia for the invasion. Seeking a diplomatic solution and also increasing its purchases of Russian oil over the past year. Moscow has been New Delhi's biggest supplier of military equipment for decades and Russia is the fourth biggest market for Indian pharmaceutical products. The G20 finance ministers and central bank chiefs are also expected to discuss unblocking debt restructuring for distressed economies badly hit by the COVID-19 pandemic and also the war in Ukraine. According to reports, India has drafted a proposal for G20 nations to help countries by asking lenders including China to take a large haircut on loans. US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and German Finance Minister will also be attending the meeting and are expected to press China to quickly deliver on debt relief. Neither the Russian Finance Minister nor the Central Bank Chief are expected to attend the meeting.